Speed. Z, 30 out. Take one. Action! I feel a tasty verb. It's not fair! One! It's always got that stupid baby! Two! And I don't want stupid sister! You just saw a couple of clips from the movie Aiden and the Stork. Those were all behind the scenes footage. Um, obviously, that's not what we shot on film. I'm Chad Engel, the writer and director of the project, and right now we find ourselves at the end of the journey of making this film. Yeah. And I wanted to talk about with you for a second the beginning of this journey and, and what really uh, my team and I went through in making of the film. It literally is a child. How long? <laughs> Two years. <laughs> Go for it! Go! Alright, we should. Hip, hip! Hey, hey. You take me to your stork friend, and I won't eat you. But if it's a trick, I'll gobble you up. I didn't really know how to start this, this new video. And so I thought about it for a couple days and I wanted to start from the very, very, very beginning of where this project comes from uh, and why it's so important. I also wanted to kind of share with you this incredible journey we've gone on and how big this project has become. And it's so much bigger than we had anticipated already. I hope to inspire filmmakers and contributors as well so we can finish what we've started. There's a lot of self-reflection in this film. Um, the boy is definitely part of me in writing it. I have three brothers, one younger brother and two older brothers, and I wanted to tell a story about that, being a brother. When my, my, when my little brother came home from the hospital, I freaked out. I like slammed the door and ran down the hallway and screamed, and I was just very upset and didn't know how to handle that. And I was thinking about that now as an adult, of how weird that is, um, dealing with sharing like a sort of lifestyle that you've had with your parents. Uh, and I read lots of books on sibling rivalry and was just very fascinated with that idea. The story is Aiden and the Stork. It's about a boy who tries to catch his little sister Stork. And he tries to catch her Stork because he doesn't want her to be born. And so the short film is about him dealing with that and, and what it takes for him to accept, you know, becoming a big brother and uh, what he's going to take a stand for. The story is what really made this project work. The, the, the talented crew and, and the people that got involved in this project and that are still getting involved in this project are getting on board because the story and it's because they've read the script and it's because they think it's something that has a lot of potential. And that's why I wanted to make this is because there is a feature idea behind it and it's something that I do want to share and I, and I do think it's something mothers can use to talk about with their kids when, when they have a, a newborn on the way. And there's not any strong piece of literature yet and the children fantasy fiction world um, about becoming an older brother. So it's something that I would like to share uh, with the world and so this is where it starts. I wanted to do something that incorporated my skills as a director, a writer, and special effects makeup artist. And so this is kind of my thesis film of everything I've learned up to this point about filmmaking, about writing, about storytelling, about special effects makeup about producing, so it's really just me, just blah, out <laughs> on film. It was just my producer and I who we started kicking around ideas of how can we make this work where we can shoot on film. Because that's, it's very challenging for a young independent filmmaker to afford to shoot on film. Uh, you have to pay for the film, you have to pay for the camera, you have to pay for development, telecine. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a headache and a lot of people won't take that on and won't, you know, we'll, we'll shoot it on something else like a digital camera or the red. It was, it was very important to me and I was, I was very stubborn about it um, 
I felt like in order for this to be as big as I want it to be, it has to be held up on something like film. So what we did was is we applied for the Panavision grant and we sent them this huge binder just full of everything there is to know about the film. And the Panavision grant gives you a film camera to use and they liked it and they said we would like to help you on this and, and so after getting the Panavision grant we were very excited. The challenge after that was, okay well we have the camera now, now we need to get the film. My DP, Steve Griggs, he, uh, his, his grandfather used to work for Kodak. And uh, so he had some people that worked for Kodak that he knew that could get us a good deal. So we bought our film for 12 cents a foot, which is a steal. It's, it's, it's next to nothing. It's usually sold for like, you know, 40 cents, 60 cents. So we, we still didn't really have a, a way of developing it. We just assumed that would just kind of happen. And uh, we just, you know, kept, kept on positive thinking, I guess. And even after the shoot, I remember uh, our AD uh, was talking to Tails and I, the producer. And, He's like, so hey, how much money do you guys have in the budget to get the film developed? And I was like, none. We, sh we had used all of our money to shoot, to shoot the film. You know, the six days, we needed every penny we had. And so anyways, we got Photochem Grant to develop the film, which miraculously happened last minute. It was a week before the producer graduated from her school, and she showed her professors in her class the behind-the-scenes footage. Her teacher nominated her for the Photochem Grant. It only happens twice a year at the school and so it's a, it's a very 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 special grant. We have the film developed now and it's sitting here and that all fits out. <laughs> but uh, but now the next step for us is to get it telecine and that is still a little expensive. It's it's two grand to get it telecine and then about additional three grand to do everything we need to do to send the film out to film festivals, get the sound design and everything the way it's supposed to be. So the next step for us is this video and um, and we're asking everyone that knows about this project to share it with their friends and family and uh, to share kind of this journey we've been on and uh, you know give us the last boost we need to, to make it to the finish line.